political parties are made up of the people who show up. No matter how many names you call them, no matter how much you try to intimidate them, there's that core of people that will refuse to be silenced and ostracized. Those people are right here in this room, and I am so glad to be part of what we're all doing together. My constituency isn't my fellow LNC members. My constituency is the membership. I really don't give a fuck if I'm annoying the rest of the LNC if they're not doing right. We had a champion in Karen Ann Harlow. Didn't you just get noticed? So I thought that was pretty funny, the lack of self-awareness there. So this is how you make yourself unpopular <laughs> on Twitter. You're a rat fuck. Oh, you're already a pride in society. You already believe shit that people think you're nuts for. This is the last vestige of the real feeling of the Ron Paul movement. I'm sorry to barge in, but can I say hello? You're the most awesome person ever. Thank you for everything you've done. And to think there was a time when I thought, I don't think I'd really fit in at Fort Fest. In honor of John Baskerville, we're going to start burning shit. <laughs> no, no, I'm right. No, I'm sorry, I'm right. We have Mises Margaritas over here for $5. Come have a good time and chill out. They gave me the podium because I'm actually just going to do an hour on the Fed. It's going to be my dissertation, everybody. <laughs> Let's hear it for Taylor Swift! Park Fest, what is happening? Woo! I love the New Hampshire energy. Ron Paul Army, motherfuckers, what's up? We are here. We're gonna do this. Like, we're really gonna do this. They're gonna come at us with everything. They tried to politically assassinate me. They tried to ruin my entire fucking life. Karen Ann, by the way, just a few months ago, was telling me to cool it with the rhetoric. Look what they did to her. Look at this controversial figure splitting the audience. Now it's 2021, and it's like a mob scene. You're like an international superstar. How the hell do you account for this? That's an excellent question, Tom. I slept with Joe Rogan, and... Thank you so much! A big, big cheer for the hero himself, Scott Horton. Wow, hi everybody, thanks very much. Say it to my face, and stop being a coward. The average member of, uh, of New Hampshire is more libertarian than Gary Johnson. Just want to give that. Does anybody want to make a noise for the Mises Caucus here? Huh? I think that you all agree that we see now that we have an opportunity to have the entire movement or, or massive proportions of the movement kind of all at once join the Libertarian Party and turn it into the kind of thing that we can be proud of. Like, I was like, damn, I need to read more books. Hey, people, come here, that will help. That's everything I need in one place. Nobody has been better on COVID tyranny than Tom Woods. You don't have to guzzle it all, but thank you for drinking it. Woo! Fuck them ho ass rooms. Hey. All right, from Top Lobster. This is the last night of Pork Fest. So make a count. Sold a lot of tickets here, guys. This is very good. Raised a lot of money for the goddamn meat car. We're trying. We're trying. And then, on the Because we have the people and the popular support. It was Ron Paul who had the guts to be different, just to, to say, I want to talk about the Federal Reserve, even though there's no focus group that tells me I need to talk about it. What a great reminder that I actually don't hate libertarians. I am like, hey friend, it's so nice to see you. And then they're like, I hope you fucking die. The year that was 2020 really made me appreciate shit like this again, right? Isn't it just nice to be in 
normal events. We don't listen to Dr. Fauci. We're cranks because don't you know he's the recognized expert? I don't know how somebody with that kind of mentality ever became a libertarian. Ah, oh, it's glorious that COVID's over. It's over. That shit is over. Fuck it. They all failed. You make yourself popular on Twitter by making yourself unpopular on Twitter. That's how it works. You know what? Children should be allowed to earn money. Abolish child labor law. What? Did you come to my show? You were there. You? Yeah, there's something for everyone here. I mean the Mises Caucus kind of guys, but I mean, there are obviously like left anarchist hippies here and everything like that. And everybody's just cool with each other. Probably as close as we're gonna get to Encapistan. This is really, really an interesting community that just springs up. No, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Loving being around a bunch of libertarians that aren't trying to stab me in the back. The, the wing of the Libertarian Party that I really love the most kind of being so dominant out here. This is just great. It's really fun to come out and like see, see my people. Yeah, I'm having a fucking party. Both shows today were fun. Now I'm done with work, so I get to party. This has been a good time. I just, I really appreciate all the people who are responsible for bringing me here and having such a great time. Cheers to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> You're all awesome. Love you. Yeah. Woo! Fest, thank you for having me. What a kick-ass time. See you guys next year.